Okay, thank you for joining me today. I started this video earlier and realized that it wasn't recording, so we are starting week two here. Today we are doing a strength workout, so there is no cardio component, but it is going to be quite a challenging workout. I want you to work quite hard to stimulate those muscles. For equipment, all you'll need is open space on the floor. You'll need a chair or a bench of some kind. I will show you an alternative, but a chair or a bench would be better. And then you'll need a rope or something that's not stretchy, which you're going to tie in half. This is what I'm using. So get those materials together and then come back here and we will start warming you up. So we will start out with warming up those wrists. We do have some push-ups today and I want your wrists to be happy. So what I want you to do is go on your hands and knees and then just rotate your fingers so that they're pointing back towards your knees. Elbows are pointing straight forward. Knees are directly under your hips and then they're just rocking back. This should be not painful, a bit of a stretch, but no pain. Let's go for 10 more. Nine, eight, nice work. Five, four, three, two more here. Excellent. So you can unravel. Your wrist should feel like you've got a good stretch there. Back on your hands and knees. Have your hands pointing straight forward. Hands are under your shoulders. Knees are under your hips. We're going to move into your spine. So round your spine up to the ceiling. Tuck your chin in. And then go the opposite way. Hips back. Going back down. Chest up. Head up. And move back and forth between those two positions. Trying to get as much range as you can out of each one. So curling right up to the ceiling. And right down to the floor. We're going to move into some circles here. So now you're going to push your feet to the side, down, side, up. And change direction. One more. Awesome. Okay, stand it up. Moving into your hips, you're just starting out with a basic squat. Go as wide or as narrow as you'd like with your feet. Pulling the floor apart with your feet, sitting your hips down and back, keeping those feet flat on the floor. And as you get more comfortable, maybe get a bit lower into your squat with really a stretch into the bottom. Should be pain for you though. All right, we're gonna stretch out those shoulders a bit. Hands by your head, elbows back. Same thing. Really squeeze those elbows back and together. Let's go for four more. Awesome. Finishing off with some rotations. All I want you to do is sit down in that squat, turn your shoulders to the side, and rotate over the opposite side, getting as much rotation through that spine as you can. Four more on this side. Excellent. Other side. Rotate. Sit your hips back. Turn those shoulders. Four more. Awesome. Great. 
great work. So I'll describe each exercise as we go through. We're going through this circuit three times, and that's it. All right, take breaks as you need to. This is a strength workout. That means you can break as much as you want, but when you're doing the exercises, I want you to push really hard so you're getting right to that edge of fatigue. So first exercise is a walkout. So I'll stand over here. <laughs> walkout with a push-up. Going for eight reps. First rep, you're gonna have your hands here, so you're pushing up. Then you're gonna be in a tricep push-up, regular push-up, and then the last one is super wide push-up. So that's your first four, and then you'll work your way back. So one out here, regular push-up, tricep push-up, and then diamond push-up. Doing walkouts in between each one. So you can do a single leg or a double leg walkout. Single leg is harder, double leg is easier. Keep your legs totally straight. You're going to come out to your push-up. We're starting with the diamond push-up here. Drop to your knees if you'd like. Coming right down, back up all the way back up excellent next one is your tricep push-up so narrow hands but not touching your fingers together i'll show a single leg demo here tricep push-up here's your second rep awesome drop to your knees at any point if you'd like you're doing single leg alternate legs now we're doing regular push-up You got this. Woo. And we're doing our wide push up, single or double leg with these walk ups. So you're going as wide as you can. Yeah, this is challenging. Woo. So good. All right, work our way back, starting with the wide one again. Keep that leg straight in those walk outs. Awesome job. Regular push up. Tricep push up. Nice tight core on these. Diamond push up, last one here. Adapt from your toes or your knees as you need to. Moving those arms as wide as you can at the furthest reaches. Exercise number two. All right, it's a row lunge combo. This is where you're going to use that rope. It's a combo leg and back exercise. So I've tied knots in the rope to help me to grip it. Because I got handy hands. And I'm just going to set myself up here. So the rope is lifted around my foot. And I want to have it set up. So I'm pulling as hard as I can on the rope with my arm. And then I'm resisting with my leg. I'm going to stand up. My leg is stronger than my arm. So I'm resisting as hard as I can with my arm and pushing with my leg. And then I'm pulling with that arm and resisting with my leg. So you should feel that arm working super hard. And depending on how arm, how strong your arm is, that leg working as well. It's going for six reps on each side. Just working against your body. Ooh, as hard as you want to make it. Focusing on that arm. So you're just resisting yourself. It's all that's going on there. Depending on how hard you resist, it can be super challenging. All right, other side. 
Elbow is tucked in at your side and is right up as high as it gets. Pushing through that front leg, pulling with your arm, and they're working opposite each other. So you're pushing with the leg, resisting with that arm, and then pulling with your arm, resisting with your leg. Awesome. Just going for six. Oh, try not to fall over as you adjust. Two more at my pace. hard that will be really hard okay still holding on to your rope we're gonna work your shoulders now so what you're going to do is have one arm up overhead and you're pulling down with this other arm and then we're gonna switch it up six per side all right so arm is overhead this arm they're both straight pull really hard with your bottom arm and resist with your top arm big pull you're down here pull keep pulling all the way back and then come back up. Resist yourself. Creating weight. You can just fight against yourself. Nice work. It does take some brain power. <laughs> oh my god, it burns. Everything 
No twisting. Awesome. Round two. Remember, take breaks as you need. This is a strength workout. You can take as many breathers as you want, but push yourself hard when you're working. All right. We are back to our push-ups. Two leg or single leg with the walkout, making sure to keep your knees straight the whole time. I'll just do single leg this time. Starting with your diamond push-up, working your way out as wide as you can, and working your way back in. Here we go. Straight leg, high core, hands directly under your chest in that diamond push-up, tight core, and back up. You're doing single leg, alternate legs. All right, tricep push-up. Hands under your shoulders, elbows tucked in. Awesome, regular push-up. Drop to your knees whenever you like, and then come back onto your toes for the push back up. Wide push-up. How wide can you go? Yes. <laughs> we get back up. All right, another wide push up. So good. Regular push up. Push up. And your diamond. Ooh. Really nice. All right, we have the lunge row. This one takes you a few tries to get. Super challenging once you get there. Remember your leg and your arm are working opposite. Opposite foot is under, is holding down that rope. And you have your elbow tucked in at your side, up nice and high. All right, pushing up with your legs, resisting with that arm all the way up so your arm is straight. Hold that arm as hard as you can and back down. Going for six. Awesome, you're so good. Switching sides. Elbow tucked in. Resist. Push and pull. straight and resist. Here we go. Six. 
six, her side, all the way back behind you, pulling all the way up. You can vary your grip on the rope as well. We'll get slightly different shoulder muscles that way. Target your rotator cuff a bit differently. Ooh, two more, come on. Try 
a push up. with this front leg. Awesome. Shoulder time. My favorites, as you have seen. Six of these. I'm going to do three with them up. Injuries, especially in your knees. 
especially for skiing, if you catch an edge, you want those brain muscles to be super strong. Eight per side. And here we go. Nice straight body. Squeeze the top. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you got some value out of that, and I will see you for our next workout. 